Mm. So good. From Omichiba right now for the convenience store is onigiri. Itadakimasu. <laughs> Very unique. Ryan's TV. Hey guys, welcome to Ryan's TV. I'm Ryan Seno. Look at that, yes. That's a popular Osaka food street called Dotonbori. That's right, there are so many good restaurants over there. You see, so many people already there, right? If you come over to Osaka, definitely should try that street. You can find many good food over there. And actually, you know what? In this video, I'm not gonna try to introduce the Dotonbori food street. I'm gonna introduce onigiri. Yes, the rice bowl. There are so many kinds of onigiri in Japan, and Japanese convenience stores sell so good onigiri. So, in this video, I'm gonna introduce the onigiri rather than the Dotonbori food street. Well, if you wanna know how the Dotonbori food street looks like, please check my other video. I introduced the restaurants over there so that you can have an idea. Anyway, so let me get the first onigiri. Actually, there is a convenience store called the Family Mart. They sell the onigiri too. I'm gonna walk around Dotonbori and whatever I found the convenience store. I try onigiri there. All right, so let's get the first onigiri from the family mart. Let's go. All right, so first onigiri I got is sake mayonnaise. Actually, this one is new one. I haven't tried it yet. Salmon mayonnaise sounds good. You know what? This place is kind of too noisy. So let me move to the, some quiet place to eat this, and uh, let me show how it tastes like. So let's move. You know, I was there. And then right now, I moved to downstairs. Seems like this place, less people. All right, so the first onigiri I want to try is this one right here. This one is the shake mayonnaise. The salmon and the mayonnaise. It looks pretty cool, right? You know, since this is the first onigiri I introduced, let me introduce how to open it as well. You see there are numbers one, two, three. It is really simple. Just pull this one first. And after you pull it, pull the number two. And after that, pull the number three. Since they made it separate the rice and the seaweed, the rice is really moistured and the seaweed is like really fresh. Listen to the sound. Mm. So good. Well, speaking of the taste, this one has kind of a strong flavor of the pepper. It perfectly matches with mayonnaise. I love it. Mm. This is how it looks like. Well, that was 130 Japanese yen. Usually, the onigiri in Japan costs around 100 Japanese yen. That's regular onigiri. So that one is 130 Japanese yen. That means a little bit expensive than usual one. All right, so that was the first onigiri. I'm gonna try to introduce as much as I can eat. So, well, that could be five to six. Well, it could be 10 too. Never know, right? All right, so anyway, so let's go to try the next one. Let's go. Well, actually, next place is really close from there. The next one is Lawson over there. Okay, so let's get some onigiri. All right, so this is the next one I got. That's gyu yakiniku mayonnaise, which is the yakiniku mayonnaise. Well, the price is over 160 Japanese yen, so yeah, it is expensive for onigiri. However, that's yakiniku. Should be good. Again, this place is kind of noisy, so let me move to the, some quiet place. Well, speaking of this place, you see that board over there? That looks so good, right? Actually, that's a tonkotsu ramen without pork. Tastes really good. A bit expensive though. If you are interested in that tonkotsu ramen, please check my other video. Okay, so anyway, let's move to the, some quiet place. Let's move. All right, so I moved to the other place. You see, this place, much quiet, right? So the next onigiri I got is this one right here. That's called the gyu yakiniku mayo. That means like yakiniku mayonnaise. Hold on. I think the light is not good. Huh? Well, I think this angle is better. So, speaking of this, this is a gyu yakiniku mayonnaise. Well, the first place I went was Family Mart, right? The next place was Lawson. The both of them are really popular convenience store. And then, as you see, that blue one over there. <laughs> That's another Lawson. Yes. There are so many convenience stores in Japan. Anyway, 
So let's get back to the this onigiri. Actually, this one was 168 Japanese yen, which is much expensive than usual onigiri. Well, you know, that's yakiniku, so should be, I guess. I don't know. By the way, this is a tip for picking the onigiri. Well, maybe if you can't read the Japanese, you can't know where the expiration date. But here it is. Yes. This is the expiration day of the onigiri. So if you want to have a fresh onigiri, just pick the expiration date longer one. That means fresh made. Anyway, so let's try this onigiri. So this one is also, it's really simple. Oops. This one is hard to pull it up. <laughs> oh my goodness, my seaweed get broken. Usually this is what happens if you are not professional of opening the onigiri. Actually, the seaweed is broken, but still, it's okay. So, the yakiniku one. Let's eat. Itadakimasu. Well, to be honest, from the first bite, you can't really tell the taste because, well, usually, the stuff is middle of the onigiri. This seaweed taste, which is, tastes really good though. It's kind of like soy sauce and the salt taste. Oh shit. This one tastes like, hmm, not sure if it's yakiniku. Hmm, the pepper marinade, I think. This is how it looks like. It's more like a pepper, I don't know, mayonnaise. The pretty similar with the first one. Well, I was expecting the yakiniku taste. Not bad though. If I think about the paying extra money for this, maybe. I prefer the first one because the first one was cheaper and also the taste is pretty similar. Well, <laughs> maybe the first one was better. I don't know. Well, if you love yakiniku, then please try it and let me know. Hmm. Not bad though. And also, I love blossom. Alright, so that was the yakiniku taste. I'm pretty sure if you come over to Japan and the first, you maybe you want to try the yakiniku, but don't expect that much. That's yakiniku onigiri, but not really yakiniku. Well, let's go to check the next convenience store. Actually, there is a convenience store, Lawson. However, you know, since I tried the Lawson last, yep, I don't want to try there. Maybe, you know, if I can find a 7-Eleven, that would be best because the first one was Family Mart and the second one was Lawson. So, 7-Eleven would be perfect. Well, you know what? Actually, there is a Lawson, right? But 7-Eleven is right over there. Well, I checked the Google map. The 7-Eleven? Just over there. So where is 7-Eleven? <laughs> yep, here we go. Well, you see, there are so many convenience stores, right? Well, so if you are traveling to Japan, especially in the big city, don't worry about it. There are so many convenience stores and they usually open 24-7. They sell us many kinds of stuff. The price is a bit expensive, however, it's not that bad. Anyway, so let's get the onigiri from there. Yep. There's something different. Well, you know what? Actually, there are not so many onigiris. I think it's because of the time. However, I got the something interesting. Yep, this one could be better than onigiri. Well, so again, this place is kind of too noisy. Let me move to the some quiet place. Let's move. All right, so now I move to the back street of Dodonbori Street. This place much quiet, right? Well, actually, you see that entrance over there? Maybe you can't see much, but well, that's one of my favorite spot called the Hozenji. The Hozenji Yokocho is really traditional Japanese street, which you can enjoy the Japanese traditional atmosphere. And you know, there are so many food restaurants as well. If you don't know about the Hozenji Yokocho, please check my other video. Look at this. You know, I couldn't find a good onigiri, but I found this. It's a kimchi natto. Natto is really weird Japanese food. Kimchi is really popular Korean food. Well, you know, both of them have really unique features. Oh. The natto is really sticky. The kimchi has really strong smell. And then this is a collab with Japan and Korea. That's a kimchi natto. Well, you know, if you don't like kimchi and natto, this could be a nightmare. However, I like kimchi and also natto too. So it should be tasty. And this one is a bit different. You can simply make the hand roll, which is pretty good, right? Well, speaking of the price, this one was 156 Japanese yen. 
I think thinking about the kimchi and nasi the price, it is expensive. However, you can try something weird stuff. It always works to pay money for the new experiences, right? Why not? So, let's try kimchi natto. Alright, so... <laughs> my goodness, already had so strong smell. Ah, yep, if you don't like kimchi or natto, then definitely don't try this. And I don't recommend you to bring this back to your hotels. Uh, <laughs> I can eat natto, but I don't like the natto smell. Neither kimchi smell. Yes, this is how it looks like. I don't think this one could be good, but anyway, let me try the tadagiwas. Oh. <laughs> mm. Very unique. Wow. Kimchi natto. Sounds really interesting. However, ah, very interesting. Well, I don't know. Personally, you can have a kimchi flavor. And after that, the natto flavor. I don't really recommend to eat this one. But you know, if you want to have something new experience, Definitely, this could be the good one. Oh. Mm. You can find this at the 7-Eleven. <laughs> you know, that was bee there. Maybe the bee loved this smell, not me though. Well, I usually eat three onigiris for lunch, but uh, yep, I still have space, so let's keep going. Well, yes, I came to the Kuromomichiba right now, but uh, this time it's not for the seafood, neither sushi. This time for the convenience store's onigiri. Yep, maybe for you guys, it doesn't make sense. You see, there are so many seafood, but uh, I'm gonna eat the convenience store's packed onigiri seafood which tastes also good, you know? Yep, I remember the convenience store is right next to that corner. All right, here we go. You see, that's the Kuromomichiba market and the convenience store family mart. Okay, so let's pick some onigiri from there. Well, this time I got the chili oil. Okay, so let me find you some place to eat. Let's go. Alright, so next onigiri I got is this one. Zakutorayu means chili oil. Okay, so let me try that. It must be spicy. Alright, here we go. Wow. Actually, you know, any onigiri does look like the same onigiri from the outside, right? It smells the same as well. Okay, so, itadakimasu. Oishii. Look at this. Well, actually, it's a chili oil, but it's somehow it's crispy. It tastes like a snack. Chili oil, a bit spicy, and then the, a bit garlic flavor. This one is, I think it's close to the taberu rayu, which is kind of popular in Japan. That's a chili oil, but you can eat it with rice. It's like a free kake. This one tastes pretty good. Well, the price was not expensive, neither. A bit spicy though. I got the, kind of like a big bite, so it's kind of spicy. Yes, that's the chili oil. Somehow it's a chili oil, but really crispy and savory. I don't know, it's pretty good. Well, if you come over to Japan, then try the dak dakutorayu from the family bird. If you love spicy food, why not? <laughs> All right, so you know what? I'm already kind of full. So, I think this is it. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Again, there are so many kinds of onigiri. Still, there are more. And also, the hand roll too. It's pretty nice, right? Alright, so this video pretty much that's it. There are many Osaka and the Japanese food video. So, if you like Japan, please check other videos as well. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel. Your subscription really encourages me to keep shooting videos. And if you like the video, please share the video with your friend. It will really help me to grow my channel and don't forget to check my instagram account as well okay so hope you enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching my videos arigato so bye bye